We had a candid chat with five notable disruptors from workplace, design, technology, and an organization behaviorist to take another look at the future of digital workplace. Here's a preview of the wide reaching conversation between Tom Harron, Nicholas Lasek, Dr. Richard Clayton, Paul Callum, and myself, Heather Lee. I've been lucky enough to sort of um, get around the globe a bit and work on projects that are unusual, not the sort of standard fare. Mm. And along with that has come a lot of engineering and particularly technology challenges along the way as people, these organisations are building these assets, they need to last about 25 years. Mm. So you're crystal ball gazing a lot of the time. So um, I imagine on sticking which you would have seen a few things in your time as well. Bits and bytes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, along the way, that's a long time, there's a lot of change in that period for IT. I, I, I visualise yeah. the matrix, you know, when Agent Smith and Neo you know, and he, he realizes that the, that space where they, they clash is actually all electronic and it's all green and he can realize the matrix. Mm. That's why I see the digital workplace. Right. Yeah. So, um, Nick talked about the matrix very briefly just then, and I, I would actually suggest that our future should be not a matrix future, but a Star Trek future. Whoa. So yeah. instead, <laughs> instead of, instead of, <laughs> in, 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 um, instead of the matrix, which is a sort of singularity moment where mm, machines true. take over, we Oof. want to be working with machines to explore new worlds and new civilizations. Yeah. Um, so that was really in terms of the how. Well, how do we do that? Mm -hmm. okay, we, don't, we know why. We know why because we have to drive humanity forward and we have mm. to drive business forward. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's an easy question to answer. Yeah. How we do it is a much more difficult question yeah. to answer. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, let me pick up on Star Trek or The Matrix. <laughs> right. Well, my job is to make sure it doesn't become like black mirror if you want to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay but where the technology for the for the for all the right reasons has gone too far mm -hmm. yeah. and it ends up being something that uh, enslaves people or it's it's mm. it's, it's used in a way that um uh, is kind of counterproductive mm. yeah. and, and therefore affects the technology itself yeah um, so where we're going i don't know we're definitely going in the technology future yeah uh, but where we're going I don't yeah. know, we just got to make sure that it doesn't, it goes to the positive side, not to the negative side. Yeah.